check. Yeah. Let's see another piece. Show and gold. We'll take it. Well, we're gonna do battle with it. If we pull out enough of them and throw them over our shoulder, we should find some gold. What the dream is, is that scattered in there someplace will be some nice picker nuggets. We found one, you have no doubt. There's more of them in there someplace. And I just really hope we're gonna find some. I think I'm optimistic. Of course, I'm a gold miner. Might need to hook his stuff today. My grandson Hannibal Bonker is joining us. Got Smile. Done. And uh, he's uh, he's a really good helper. When he was here six years ago, I was trying to pack out a couple of four inch dredges and he was 12 years old. And if he hadn't been here, I would have left him, you know, but he's even better now. He's looking up tall You would have left him here or you would have left? Uh, no, I, I just, I would have left the equipment. I, I would have taken Hannibal home, but I, I just don't think I could have gotten it out. And we didn't do it to manage to drag everything up the hill. So my dad used to say that 10 cents for the camouflage is better than a $2 brass lock. Well, we established that anywhere in the pack material, we get um, decent recovery of flakes and small gold and so on. And uh, one one nice uh, one gram nugget. We're hoping that we're gonna get in some patches with larger pieces, more of them. And that, that can happen. But at least in the meantime, we're picking up a steady supply of gold enough to keep us very interested. Ready to have fun with your granddad? Sure. <laughs> You can bring, grab the whole tub and that wetsuit and we'll bring it up here on the bank. You can probably just set that right here. Perfect. And then the wetsuit, grab that and bring it up to Grandpa. Full of bugs. Uh, the, the air temperature would drop down in, into the 30s every night in the canyons up there. The daytimes it was 80 or 90, but their wetsuit didn't get dry overnight. And so in the morning, 35 degrees and you're trying to pull on this wet cold wetsuit wasn't fun and there's a tendency to say oh man I'm just gonna not get started so early uh, and then you lose time and actually you know we're here so we want to get the most time in if we can. So go ahead and pull this forward. There you go. Tie this around about right here. Before we start, obviously we check the gas, pull the gas, okay, then we check the oil. Yes, for good measure. Put valve. Remember how to do that? Oh, you're shaking that. Yep. There it is. We're full of, full of water. So we're good. Once Grandpa gets his suit on, We'll be rocking and rolling. A one pull wonder. They can take the choke off. And the box, see if we're pumping water. You can see the box is filling up. Very good. We're just idling. We're warming up. Well done. That's the check. The morning routine. You know, uh, we didn't dredge out where that big yellow rock is. We'll roll it out of the way, but. As I recall, it was over four feet. I'm probably gonna need the air system down there, so I'll have to get the weight belt and the hoses and the, the hookah uh, regulator and, and the uh, tank accord. But uh, won't use it all the time, but at least in there, it'd be better because what happens is that if you have to dive down to get the rock and go below the snorkel, then you know it, it, you gotta blow out the water and it's, uh, it's hard. It just makes it more difficult. With the air system on, you just lay at the bottom with the weight belt, will keep you from bouncing around, and you can move the rocks out much easier. Hey, Abba, come help me grab the air. Got the new crevice tool. Hopefully we'll be able to use it, find some crevices to use it on. Good looking tool.
Well, I feel like a knight in armor ready to do battle, and you know, sometimes it seems like there's an endless supply of rocks. Theoretically, it's a finite number, not infinite number, but it seems like there's, every time you pull a rock out and you look to see if there's gold behind it or on the bottom, there's, there's three more, and you pull those out, and you look, and maybe there's gold, maybe there isn't, but there's more rocks. Well, we're going to do battle with it. If we pull out enough of them and throw them over our shoulder, we should find some gold. Let's find some gold. Well, have fun anyway. Well, we, I believe that's the uh, iron stained rock with the hose kind of loops around it. I dredged around there. It was getting pretty deep. And so I started going the other direction and, and found good gold. But we're going to continue. We'll, I'll dig out underneath there. And then hopefully Hannibal can, I can roll it back a few feet to the back and then we'll work up towards the flat rock and work into here. And remember, when we first came here, the first hour of that first day after we packed in, we dredged out right in here. Wasn't any hard pack, it was it was loose gravel on bedrock, didn't look good at all. And just a couple feet over here was, was the hard pack. We found it the next day, you know? So um, uh, that was really encouraging. And so maybe that, that hard pack continues. Sometimes, you know, um, since the hard pack shows the water hasn't been moving things every year there, it's been you know, a decade maybe that it's been sitting there. Around the edges here, the material still washes through every year. We know that because it was just soft uh, gravel on, on um, polished bedrock. But on the edge of that, there could be some, some heavy gold. Sometimes there'll be a little pay streak along the edge of the, of the pack material, which is kind of, it's a pay material, but it doesn't necessarily have concentrations. There could be a concentration along the edge of it. Of course, you got to remember that we're, we're, we're looking at everything as optimistically as we can. And you know, that's why we, we dredge a lot of holes and we do a lot of testing and do a lot of thinking and guessing. And sometimes, you get it all together. Well, it's really helpful to have somebody help get the lead on and off for that matter. There have been times at which I crawled out onto the to the side, unable to get my weight belt off, was so tired, you know. But uh, it's really helpful to have somebody to help out. All right, uh, let's see, I put the iron bar. Go hand it to you. Go get in position. And uh, so I'll go down there and take a look at first. Oh! Whoa, rode that one in. Uh, <laughs> that was a little quicker than I was. That's one way to get in the water. Okay, you want to crank that up, Anibal? So what we're going to do, uh, we're going to dredge out right in here right where I'm standing. And we've got a place where we can move that rock over here and then get underneath. We'll get a hole right around where I'm standing here and this black rock will come towards me. Like so my knees are on the bedrock right now but it's going down
Nope, no gold nuggets. You getting into some red clay? Yeah, uh, it looks like the the river when it floods in the winter time winter has that right. red that layer to it, and sometimes the tailings from the old operations have that color, and and you'll see it uh, layers of it, and oftentimes there's a lot of gold in it, you know. Well, some of the time anyway. Nugget check. Yeah, there's a little piece right there. Yeah, right in there. Oh, right there. Boop, boop, boop. Nice little piece. I saw another one over in here. Maybe another one down there. Yeah, showing a little gold. Not bad. So what I'm gonna do is that uh, you know I finally got into the the side of the um, the big boulder, not the down well the middle of the creek side, but the bank side, and uh, I worked around that, and I'll be able to move it around, and hopefully. Uh, that's just where the, the bottom of the creek drops off into somewhat of a hole, which could be a good thing. I don't know. I guess I'm ready to do the final half hour of a run here. Work upstream in the shallower water. We'll just finish up getting the um, uh, overburden off, I guess. Let's start up. Butter in the sandwich. <laughs> A lot of good looking stuff there. Can't get through here, buddy. Those guys got the stuff. Yeah, showing a little bit of gold. Looking good. Looking real good. We'll pick this up tomorrow. In the morning, I'll put on the diving gear and I'll go back over this area that I took off the overbird. I was able to see the bedrock in places. But uh, it's possible that I, I left some unworked gravel there. And uh, as well as there could be a scattering of little flakes. We, we've seen this happen before. And so uh, uh, with, with the diving gear on in the morning, we'll, we'll go back over that and inspect. Take it. We'll take it. 